Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to J Speak. This is the special Labor Day edition. So you're gonna get an extra J Speak this week. So we're gonna take a break from the pedal thing and we'll pick that up again Saturday. And I'm also gonna release a new video today. So you're gonna get a few more videos than you normally do. So I hope that's okay. But uh, yeah, break format a little bit, couple, uh, couple things. And I wanna see what happens with the new Gibson lineup, but we'll talk about that in a couple weeks. Let's let's make sure all those 2018s get out there. And But we're gonna cover a really cool gadget this week. We're gonna cover a couple questions. And the last thing, which I'll go into right now, is if you have not checked out Sam Ash lately, or any of the online sites, they're all discounting their Gibsons pretty good. And I'm assuming Fender's gonna follow suit here shortly. But 2015 Gibsons were released. Obviously in 2015, they weren't taken too very well because of the brass nut and the bigger neck and all this other blah, 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 blah. The purists went nuts. You know, myself included, I didn't really get down with them, but they've been closing them out Sam Ash bought a whole bunch of them. There's five or six models, and I kind of bought three. So, that one right there is a traditional 2015. Pretty rad. So, that's going to be showing up in some videos. I also picked up a double cut with the different P90s, which is pretty rad. And finally, an LPM. A little bit vintage sunburst action. But all these guys have the uh, G-Force tuners. This one's kind of a unique beast. It has a maple, maple neck. But the inlay is really, not the inlay. The, uh, there's no binding, so it's like a faux binding just because where the maple meets the uh, mahogany. But pretty rad. This one has 61 pickups in it. This is, I think, the second year those appeared. Something like that. The traditional um, Sports 59 pickups. And like I said, the double cut has some P90s. So I've been busy. But let's cover the gadget. We'll go into a couple questions. Today we're going to check out a really cool uh, pick maker. This makes picks. Seriously. Put plastic in that little thing. You punch it, and out comes a pick. Um, I got this uh, from a website called Get Goods, I think is what it's called. I'll put the uh, site right here. But uh, it's a fancy little, you know, doohickey. You know, you can make your own picks, which is pretty rad. It came with a black and white, uh, I guess, practice punchy thing. But yeah, man, let's check this out. Also, we're going to address... Um, a couple questions I got. So the first question was about picking out a Freeman versus a orange. Man, and you know what? You know my love for orange and you know I've recently discovered Freeman. I think it would have to come down to what music you're gonna play because at the end of the day, they are kind of different beasts. Um, orange focuses more in the lower mid and you know, Freeman's going to focus on the upper mid just because it's copying basically a Marshall. Um, so it really depends on what you want to do. Now, I would say from my experience, I end up probably EQing orange in the mix a tad more than the Freeman. Um, but the only Freeman I have played to date is the Runt 50. I have not tried any other Freeman amp. I would love to. Um, you know, we'll see where we go on our gear journey but yeah man I, I don't think you can go wrong with either either one they're pretty spectacular amps uh i haven't played a rocker verb combo i do have a head i do use it with multiple cabs closed back and open back 212s i haven't had any issues with it um the mark three is awesome just because you have the attenuator on it you got power scaling so you can run at 30 50 70 and 100 watts has built-in reverb, foot switchable, awesome. So the second question I got was about fuzz pedals. 
And orange specifically. So I, I own a MXR Classic 108 Fuzz, a Mad Professor Fire Red Fuzz. That's it. Um, I got to play with some diamond pedals and I'm going to do a shootout here. Uh, but, you know, because the MXR is more based in true fuzz territory and the Mad Professor is not quite fuzzy fuzz, 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 fuzz. I think they're both usable with orange, personal opinion. Uh, I know orange just came out with a new pedal, uh, the fur coat, and that's a fuzz pedal, and it's based on a 70s fuzz. Um, but I've, I haven't played any fuzz faces, or I'd love to try the DoD Carcosa um, with the orange amps, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So the Mad Professor Fire Red Fuzz, the MXR 108 Fuzz, they play nice with oranges, in my opinion. Uh, they are both pretty cheap pedals. I don't know. Give them a go. See what you think. So the video we're going to do special this week. Um, I'm on the uh, orange form. Imagine that. But uh, <laughs> one of my buddies on there asked me to do a overdrive shootout with the Vox AC30. So that's going to be the uh, additional video today. So I hope you dig it and have an awesome Labor Day. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.